Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the beasts that is extremely important, especially when you're wanting to get more materials and resources, especially because upgrading the buildings as well as the uh, training the troops and everything is require a lot of materials. And the higher level you have, as an example for the headquarter level 19, the more resources you will be needing. So it's really important to know exactly how it's possible to be getting more resources with everything that is in our hands. Today we're going to talk about four of the most important beasts when it comes to resources collecting. So let's just dive into it and not waste more time. The first one we're going to talk about, my favorite, the one that I have really fun time you know since i have got started the game and i'm having a hard time to be even reading the name the one we're going to talk about first gonna be the sickly claw and that one here the reason why it's one of the most important into resources collecting it's because here if you remember i have explained a guide for the beasts i'll leave to you in the description a link to it and that one here is connected to collecting food when we are checking out under the name you will be able to see there is three icons we have the constructions as well as the food and the rider the rider it is for the riders troops but the constructions and the food it is for the resources if we press on the food it will show you that it will be enhancing the resources gathering effectively of food so we all know that to be getting food, you have uh, not really many places. We have the first one going to be from the buildings and the second going to be from the wild or the stats, how you like to call it. Over here, when we go, we will be searching for the food. Like if we press on search and then searching for the, uh, the berry guarding, then it, let's just take another, just one then we press gather we have the beasts here we know it helps out to be going along with the troops kind of the main head of the troops to be helping out for a lot of things when we press on the plus the one that we need to be selecting as first beast into this merge going to be actually sickly claw and the reason why because he going to actually help for increasing the collective of the resources like um i do like that i'm gonna remove that one here but when we press deploy as an example uh we can do it let's just remove this completely better press when we press deploy deploy beast it's gonna be selecting him as well and select a random ones then you will be able to see here that it's almost 70 percent of the collective or, or the gathering from here gonna be speed. If we remove him and just select another one, it have dropped. But when we put him back, then it will go to over almost 70%. And the higher level he got in his skills, the more faster it will be to be gathering this one. Like I can just deploy him. I can just do like that. All right, and then it will be just going there and it will be taking some time to be getting it done. And at the same time, the effect of the, the, effect of, uh, the gathering, it's going to actually increase by upgrading the skill in here that is connected to that part. There is two skills, the military and there is the exploration. If we go as an example, I'll just go on upgrade to be having the skills wider. Then we can be seeing more. The military is the one we actually gonna need to focus on, on on the upgrade. We have the military, the first one gonna be raising the construction speed by 4%. And this one, it's the building up. It makes it faster to be building up. And then we have the second one, the food boost. And that one, it helps out with the food hourly output. And that one, it's mainly focused on the buildings. The one on the exploration it's more for the 
exploration only. So that's the first thing. And of course, the speed up of gathering the food and the oil and everything is connected to as well the research in the lab. Over here, we have everything around the resources, the uh, if uh, wanted to be improving your troops, your pieces, and everything, it as well connected to the researchers institute. And then the next piece we have on the list going to be venom fact. And venom, it's connected to the amount of steel and how fast it can be to be gathering the same for training the troops and it is just the same like a uh, sickly claw when we go to the skills upgrade then we can be focusing on the military skills the first one the recruitment speed and this one gonna be raising the recruitment speed by 12 percent and it's a passive at least for level two Level 3 going to be increased and so on and on and on. The next one going to be the steel boost and this one as well is helping out with the output from gathering as well as the collecting from the buildings too. Like here it's 10% for the hourly output from the buildings but steel gathering speed it's 20% and the next level level 3 going to be making it even higher and higher. The next one on the list going to be a uh, pyro draw and here this one it's connected to the oil as well as the tech for the oil it helps to be making the gathering of it faster as well as the tech to be helping out with the you know the effect of it it's just getting increased when we check the skills we have as well the military to focus on the research gonna be for the research speed to be making it a, a bit faster along with the speed uh, we have from helping out from the alliance then we have in the next one gonna be the military oil boost and that one the same helps with the uh, output from the buildings as well as the gathering speed so it's always good and important to be upgrading this one maybe some of you who have all the ssr pieces will be just ignoring the rest but these four pieces is really a must to be having upgraded especially because it's going to help you out with the resources gathering the next one gonna be the spike ruler to be focused on on collecting the water as well as the training of the troops as well upgrading the skills will help out as well with the output from the buildings as well as the water gathering speed so these four beast is one of the or are one of the most important beasts to be actually having them upgraded it doesn't mean you have an all the ssr higher to be ignoring the rest it's a really important to actually have them upgraded especially because upgrading the skills like when we check here every level of skill connected to the difficult uh, the rarity of the beast like here, I'm having the pyro draw at uh, orange. Then I'm only able to have this one, the 6%. To be able to get uh, the 10%, I need to be having the evolve of the pyro draw to orange one star. To be, when we go to the altar, to be having this star completely. Just like how it is now. So when I'm having well you can already see i'm able to actually upgrade it to the next one so i can just do like that there we go and when to be upgrading to the next level level four i need to have the pyro draw to red quality it's the same with all the other pieces for collecting the material and upgrading skills so that's all it's the most important piece to be upgrading when it comes to helping out with the resources as well as the next video going to be actually having some spicy giveaways make sure to be subscribing to the channel like the video and just make sure to not be missing this video out see you all with another video till then take care and enjoy your game